welcome again in this video i will give you an idea about the adaptive clearing what is 2d adaptive clearing so in the last video i have explained about the phase strategy so this video will give you an idea about 2d adaptive clearing this is actually used to remove large amount of material from the workpiece so i will select the 2d adaptive clearing and i will select the tool so i will go to library and then i will click this is the new tool option. I will click this new tool option. And here you can see the milling tools. Here you can see the hole making tools, turning tools, cutting tools, probe and finally holder. So in the milling option, I will select the flat end mill. I will select this flat end mill. So here you can enter the values of cutter shaft holder cutting data post processor etc so i will select this cutter option here you can see the diameter is 10 i will change this diameter into 8 and then i will change this flute length so this is the flute length i will change the flute length into 22 and I will go to the cutting data. In the cutting data, I will adjust the spindle speed. Now the spindle speed is 5000 RPM. I will reduce that into 3000 RPM. And here the feed rate, I will change the feed rate into 800 millimeter per minute. Then I will click the accept button. So here you can see tool number 4, the diameter is 8, the flute length is 22 and the overall length is 50 mm and this is the flat end mill. And tool number is 4, I will click select button. So here you can see the tool number 4 is selected. Here the spindle speed is 3000 and the feed rate is 800 millimeter per minute. <coughs> Then I will select the geometry. Then I will select this outer boundary. So this is the uh, this is my the my outer boundary. I want to uh, remove the material from this outer boundary. Then I will click this heights option, and here I will adjust the bottom height. So I will select the from bottom to model bottom so here you can see the model bottom and i will adjust this offset value to say minus three millimeter all other values uh, default values then i will click ok okay then i will go with the actions uh, simulate Click the play button. So this is the large amount of material removal from the workpiece using adaptive clearing strategy. That is completed. Then I will go to 2D, uh, 2D contour option for finishing the outer boundary. Uh, tool is same, tool number 4, 8 mm flat. And then go to the geometry. I will select this. Then the heights, change the bottom 
height from option to model bottom and this offset value is say minus 3 mm and all other values say i will not change the values then i will click ok then go to actions simulate click the play button okay so here the first thing that is the adaptive clearing strategy is used to remove the large amount of material from this outer boundary and then the 2d contour option is used to finish the outer boundary okay so that was about the uh, 2d that was about the adaptive clearing 2d adaptive clearing and the 2d contour okay then go to actions click generate okay and then i will go to the actions click the post process i will select the milling option and then i will select the controller as fanu controller then i will click the post button then click save okay so now you can see this is my cnc code okay the first line is percentage symbol so this is the syntax of fanu controller okay so here you can see from block line number nine you can see 2d adaptive codes g codes and m codes okay so here this is the 2d adaptive clearing g codes and m codes After that, you can see the 2D contour option and finally the end, end of the program. So that was about the CNC codes. You can copy this code to a pen drive or a memory card and you can connect it with your machine and you can cut the workpiece. Then, then Next is the setup sheet. I will click the setup sheet. So you can see this is my setup sheet. Okay. Setup sheet for program 1001. Here you can see the stock details, the total number of operations, number of tools feed rate, spindle speed, cutting distance, rapid distance, cycle time, etc. Everything is there. So here you can see tools and operations. So here there is actually only one tool, flat end mill of diameter 8 mm. And the operations, two operations. The first one is 2D adaptive clearing strategy. And the second one that is the 2D contour strategy. So that was the details about the setup sheet i hope uh, i hope you got an idea about the 2d adaptive clearing strategy so this is used to remove large amount of material from the workpiece and this 2d contour is used to finish this contour thank you